Good morning. I am off to Walmart to get something in particular to try to um, seal off the hotter areas of the house from the part that I finally have been able to get cooled down. Um, the heat index is supposed to be up to 108, 110 today. That is very unusual for us. <laughs> Um, I had no intention of coming out today because of that Saharan dust cloud that has made its way to the U.S. that normally doesn't make it this far. And it's been here, I think, for the last three days. Um, you can't really tell. Well, today I can tell the sky looks very hazy and strange. Um, you can't, it's bright outside, but you can't see any clouds. It's just like a white haze, basically. I mean, I can see the sun peeking through, but no blue skies, no clouds, just a white sky. It's weird. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to Walmart to do that, and then I'm going to do a place an order at Starbucks which is in the same shopping center and go grab me a iced Americano and I think I'll be in for the rest of the weekend I think I have an appointment Monday but I don't even know if I'm going to that the case is here I'm sure you've heard because Florida can't stay out of the news um, the cases here are on the rise again and I'm a little bit worried, so we will be staying in. We did our last hurrah of shopping yesterday to try to stock up. I told them, okay, we're going to the store again. We need to get everything, everything, everything that we want to have on hand because it's going to be a while before we go out. We're going to be back to, if we can't order it online, we won't have it. Um, fortunately, we can order a lot of things online. Um, we haven't been doing much. Like I said, I've been working on keeping everybody cool. I think I have reached a point where I can kind of relax for a minute and get back to making videos and uploading and stuff like that. Um, focus on something else. It's amazing how being hot can just change your life <laughs> you can focus on anything so I think I can focus now and I got things that I want to do around the house I want to just purge some things because it's like stuff in the cabinet I, that in some of the cabinets like stored that we never use and I'm like I heard this somewhere, I don't know how long ago or where I heard it at, but if you don't use something for a year, then you don't need to get rid of it. And this stuff that I definitely have not used in a year, you don't need it. I just, some of it, it's like thermoses and I don't know. But anyway, I need it out of my house. So, and then I'm cleaning out my closets, my dresser, everything. I'm just like, why do I have all this stuff? I don't wear it. I don't use it. Whatever the case may be, it's got to go. I'm just in one of those moods. So, yeah, I bought some um, bags yesterday to start packing up some of those clothes to give away. And yeah, because I don't have room in my closet or dresser for the clothes that I actually do wear. So yeah, it's time to purge. Um, the kids already have done so. But I also have been thinking about maybe um, decreasing the amount of inserts in my shop. Maybe like archiving all of the inserts that are there now and just come up with a more simple, basic, minimalist line of basic inserts and then I don't know I, was, I, I don't know I 
that time there was a comment on here that it's it's really disturbs me still <laughs> and just the way things are in the planet community right now I think that's another reason probably why I haven't been too enthusiastic about getting on crafting I could even hear I mean I sound pretty happy in the video I did the tutorial I did um, and put up yesterday on how to make that soft cover easy handmade journal however I could tell that I have a little I still have a little bit of attitude in me and I don't like being like that feeling like that because I don't want to get on here and be mean so I don't know you know people used to tell me I was mean back in the day In my younger days, I don't think I was mean. I was just telling the truth. And I just didn't want to put up with people's foolishness. I don't think I'm that way anymore to my detriment in a lot of situations. If I was still mean like that, according to them mean, then I probably wouldn't have gone through a lot of things that I've gone through, but I got soft. Now look, but anyway, I am here. What is it? It's like 740, 7.48. I am here at the Walmart. And let me go ahead and get these couple of items so I can get out of here before the crowd and go grab my coffee and be on my way. Okay, I'm back, got my coffee. Yep, so, I was supposed to kind of take yesterday off and rest, but I didn't. Then I said I was gonna do that today and sleep in, but I was still up at five o'clock this morning. I don't know why I can't just sleep in. I don't know but I don't seem to be able to do it. I hope Nadia will get up and want to make omelets this morning. That would be awesome sauce. Do we have everything we need to make it? I believe so. So, for school, I really hate to do this to kids, but I'm thinking they're going to have to do virtual school. I can't afford to wait on Orange County to decide um, what they're going to do about school. And because I have pre-existing pre conditions or whatever, I'm vulnerable. Um, I just can't see sending them to school, and I hate to do that to them, but of a choice it's gonna have to be virtual school and virtual school in this county is a lot different from um, distance learning so there's that um, I don't know I just don't see how they could possibly think that it's okay for school to open I know it needs to because people need to go to work and they kind of use that as the babysitter I understand that but how can they open schools the kids have to ride a bus I just don't see how they can make that work you, you can't make that work and be in social distance and be safe. Sometimes it seems like the stuff that our leaders are doing is designed to exterminate us. It's designed to get rid of us. I know it's all about money, but I'm just like, are you trying to get people sick? What's really going on? I don't know. I try not to stress over it. Like I said, I give myself 
15 minutes in the morning to watch news just to see what's really happening and then that's it that's it I just can't because I just can't deal with the stupidity of it all <laughs> it's just, I'm just like how dumb can you be how dumb can you be but anyway I'm pulling up to the house Julian didn't put the recycling out again I forgot to turn the volume down on my phone. I kind of knew I was going to forget to do it. But yeah. So that's it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll holla at y'all next time. Bye.